Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for the week of August 1st. We are just going to jump right in here, Gemini, and we are going to see what is going on for you at this time. Gemini, I would definitely go on some sort of adventure if I were you, which I am, basically, because I'm a Gemini moon. But what I would say here is that Two of Wands with that crossing Page of Wands with the Eight of Swords is like needing to get out. Gemini, <laughs> needing to go on an adventure, needing to do something new. It's not like a terrible reading. Look at it. You end with the four of wands as your outcome, which could be marriage, but you know, it doesn't have to be. It could be something else. Four of wands is a card of freedom, literally. It, and so some of you could be setting yourself free, but you have the two of wands. It's like, you know, I feel like you're a peacock and you want to fly like Mark Wahlberg, right? In that movie, whatever that movie is. So I feel like for a lot of you, then it's time for you to get out there. The thing with the two of wands, is that to me, it can be a card of like um, be taking the lead and taking the lead on something. And you know, that whole Peacock thing, I haven't watched that movie, The Other Guys is what it's called, with Mark Wahlberg. And you know, I haven't watched that movie in so long, but that popped into my head. And I kind of feel that, and, and that perfectly, that perfectly describes the energy I feel like right now. And especially if you look at the astrology, I do feel like, you know, if you ever, if you have any eccentric ideas, any, you know, weird ideas, anything like that, I feel like it's now, now is the time to like put those out into the world because, you know, you could end up being a leader with the two of wands. You could end up taking the lead on something. And so it definitely popped into my head and, you know, it's something I would think about. But this is a card of getting out into the world. Again, you're crossing energy. You have the page of wands. Again, I like to remind people that the crossing energy is what's hurting you or helping you. I like to think of it kind of as both. It's kind of like saying not getting moving on some sort of new adventure, not going on an adventure, you know, could be holding you back clearly with that eight of swords, which we're going to talk about in a minute. But the page of wands also has a solution. It says go on the adventure. Page of Wands is really more like follow your bliss. You know, it's like he is more about following his desires. He desires to do something. He does it, <laughs> plain and simple. So I feel for a lot of you that kind of following your bliss, following your desires is what that card is asking you to do. Uh, in the area of your thoughts, you feel stuck, Eight of Swords, but the Eight of Swords is self-imposed restriction. The Eight of Swords doesn't exist. And it, you know she could, she could easily, I'll show you over here, she could easily fix her, she could lean up against those swords, she could cut her arms free, and then she could take her blindfold off and she would realize that she's free. She's also standing in very shallow pool of water here. So, you know, I would be careful of making things a bigger deal than they need to be, Gemini. That shallow pool of water represents shallow emotions, not like shallow, like as in a jerk, like, you know, someone who is being shallow, but shallow emotions as in like thinking that something is much worse than it actually is or not seeing the, you know, things clearly. So I would be careful of like, you know, kind of like overreacting to things. Again, I tell everyone, Mars retrograde year, I would just be careful of overreactions in general to pretty much everything. And even I, like I've had like several over, again, I'm not perfect. I like to tell people I'm not perfect, right? <laughs> I personally have had several overreactions this year and I've regretted it every freaking time. So that's why I'm telling you. And I try to catch myself, you know, during these Mars retrograde years. So there you go. Uh, next in your foundation, you have the Three of Swords. Three swords could be a heartbreak. Um, you know, could also be healing as well. Again, I'm not a doctor, so do not take this as medical advice, but you know, this could be like the need to heal. Again, obviously, you have the king of swords here as well, which I'll show you in a minute. But you know, get this has come up for several people over you know this week and in August in general, that if you have an issue with anything, find an expert. Like literally, King of Swords is my card of solving a problem very quickly by going to an expert. You have a health problem, go to a doctor. Have a legal problem, go to a lawyer. Have any a, a car problem, go to a, a mechanic, right? <laughs> it's like, you know, King of Swords is one of those cards where it's like, you know, it's, a problem could be very, very easily solved, you know, with the King of Swords. So that's what I'd be looking at, especially if you're dealing with anything health-wise with the Three of Swords. It doesn't even have to be that big of a deal. You could just need to heal. Uh, for others, I do feel like you're walking away um, from a person definitely could be a heartbreak and you know where are you walking towards i don't know because you know according to this you're walking towards the moon <laughs> so you don't know where you're going either but we're going to clarify and find out you have the six of wands in the past i feel like you you know I, this is like what you're trying to get back to six of wands is a card of excellence it's a card of achieving something 
it's a card of being successful and you know having multiple achievements, having multiple wins in your life. So I definitely feel this is an energy that you're trying to get back to. And those are like literally the words that are popping into my head. I feel like you want to prove to yourself that if you were like on a high, if you were going up over like maybe the past couple of years and things were improving, I feel like you, it's almost like you have this or I should say, I have this feeling inside of me for you because I'm reading for you. And again, I read intuitively, so I, you know, I kind of feel things. And you know, I, what I feel here is, it's like I want to get back to where I was. It's like, and I also, I feel like mentally, this is saying that you want to prove to yourself that this wasn't just a, a you know, wasn't just luck. You know, so if you've had recently a, a success, a win, if you've recently over the past couple of years maybe been making more money, and maybe now it's going down. Maybe you had thought you found the love of your life and it was proven wrong. I feel like you're wanting to prove to yourself with this energy that it wasn't just like a one-off chance lucky situation and that's that's where i get there next in the area of the near future you have the eight of cups i, I personally i like the eight of cups because to me he's walking towards the nine of cups he's walking towards fulfillment sorry let's try why <laughs> it was working perfectly <laughs> there we go uh and you know, he's walking towards fulfillment. He's walking away from something that no longer serves him. So not that big of a deal. And I would say you're just walking towards fulfillment. I feel like you're walking towards happiness. Uh, over the next few months, you have the King of Swords. This could be your energy. could be you showing up in a very strong position and, you know, in a position of power and strength with the King of Swords. It could also be you, again, if there, if you're having any problems, finding an expert, always a good, a good answer for to the King of Swords is to find someone who knows more than you or find someone who's an expert. They can usually solve your problem very, very quickly. Uh, the other thing is, is again, I feel like you are just coming up in this position of you know power and strength as the King of Swords. In the area of your closest relationships, you have the Two of Pentacles. It's like I'm kind of getting like who is friend and who is foe. I feel like you're trying to decide like who requires too much work to be with and who is very fun to be with. And I'm not just talking about love here, Gemini. I'm talking about all of your relationships. I feel like you're looking at all of them and you're kind of like saying, I feel like you're weighing your options in the sense that you're saying, you know, this person requires way too much work and sucks way too much energy out of my life. That person I'm cutting out. This person is fun to be with and fills me with energy. These are the types of people that I'm going to be with. So without even clarifying, I feel you're kind of like sifting and sorting as Esther Hicks says, you're kind of maybe classifying, not in a rude way, <laughs> but in a good way. You're, you're kind of saying, okay, these are the people I want to spend time with. These are the people that just take way too much work, way too much energy. And I feel you're getting rid of those people. I do feel like you could be doing this in relationships as well. You could be looking at relationships and saying, you know, this type of person always requires too much work. This other type of person, much more successful and, and much easier to deal with. Uh, next in the area of your future feelings, you have the moon. Still a little bit unsure is the feeling I get. Still not sure what direction to go in. But I always say there's a path straight down the middle of the moon and it ends in some mountains back here. Mountains in the tarot represent achievements. They represent like success. They represent overcoming something. So um, it might not be good advice or it might not be the advice you want to hear, but I just keep going. I would just keep doing whatever you're doing right now because clearly you're about to have like a win or you're about to have a success in the future, I feel like the moon is just saying you just can't see it. And, and, and sometimes that's the case with the moon. Is It's just like, we're just like, am I on the right path? Am I going the right direction? The trick with the moon is to not get distracted, plain and simple. Like literally, these two pillars that are on the moon, they are warnings to the fool to not get distracted, literally, on his path. They say like, stay on the path that you're on. Do not get off the path. It's like, yes, maybe you don't have all the answers. Yes, maybe you don't know what's coming ahead of you, but just keep going. You know, it's like one of those things where, you know, it reminds me of like if you're driving down a road, right? And there's a big curve in the road. You you can't see what is around that curve, but you never know. Could be something amazing. Could be something, you know, really great. It's like, you know, I always like to remind people, it's like there have been times in my life where, um, you know, things looked really bad. <laughs> and it's like all of a sudden, something really good happened. And it's like, if I gave up, then I would have never, I would have never gotten around that curve. And I, I kind of get that feeling here. Although I don't think things are really that bad. Maybe you're uncomfortable, eight of swords. Maybe things aren't exactly where you want them. Eight of swords, three of swords, eight of cups, right? It's like, maybe things aren't perfect, but I would encourage you definitely to keep going here. Uh, even your outcome. Four of wands. Four of wands is a card of freedom, celebrations, happiness. It can be a card of marriage as well. Uh, so for those of you looking for love, could lead to marriage, but really it's a card of freedom. It's also a card of accomplishments. I always say this looks like a finish line to me. So I feel for some of you that you're like crossing a finish line in the very near future, could even be this week. So 
this energy that you could be dealing with might not even last the whole week and that would be great but let's clarify this and let's see what we have going on for you gemini uh, with the page of wands and the two of wands you have the eight of swords again <laughs> basically the universe saying i meant what i said right and really i feel your solution is to go on a new adventure it, it's like if you're feeling stuck you know changing things up can be a great way to free up the energy and i always say it's like maybe you can't necessarily like move maybe you can't necessarily change your job but it's like what areas in your life can you create more freedom? I kind of feel like that's what this is saying. The other thing is, is again, like I would just try to mix things up. It's like, no joke, I always tell a story. I read for a girl years ago and uh, you know, this girl, she was talking about wanting love and all this other stuff. I kind of got, I don't remember exactly what cards I got, but I probably got something like this, right? And I told her, I'm like, you know, mix things up, do things differently. And she used to go for a walk every single day. And then, so she started walking another direction just to mix things up. And she like met the love of her life going, just, just going a different direction. It's like, she would have never met this guy if she kept going the way she goes. Cause that guy, he only like went one other direction, you know what I mean? Or the, whatever direction uh, she changed to. Does that make sense? But anyway, the whole point is, is that it's like, if she didn't change things up, she wouldn't have changed her life. And so I feel, I feel that energy for some of you, you know, I've told that story before, but I kind of feel that just, you never know, you never know how just like doing something differently, going to a different gym, going to a different uh, supermarket, going, to, doing something different. You never know how it could like lead to the love of your life, could lead to an opportunity for work or business. It's like, you know, I've heard stories from of people who are just like, you know, in line trying to get coffee and they're like, oh, I need a job. And it's like the person in front of them is like some manager and hires them right on the spot. It's like these things happen all these things i think people don't realize how lucky you can get just by putting yourself in situations like that just by you know kind of like getting out there talking to people opening up right and uh it's like i, I think not enough of us do it right with the eight of swords you have the three of cups uh three of cups is a celebration happiness it could also represent getting help from friends but it is a card of the community so it is a card of getting out there it's like not to keep you know talking about this but again to not not to toot my own horn either it's like I am convinced. It's like, you know, I didn't really hide my channel when I first started this YouTube channel, but I am convinced. I started talking about it openly, freely, and telling everybody what I did. And like, once I did that, my channel exploded, right? And I don't know. I, sometimes I think there is something to that where it's like, when you put something out there, it becomes bigger. And Three Cups is a card of community. So it's like if you're trying to get a business to grow, if you're trying to find a job, it's like maybe you just need to tell everybody you know about it <laughs> with that Three of Cups. Um, same thing with love. If you want love, maybe you just need to talk to every old joker on the street, right, that you'll walk by. Um, I don't know. You never, you never know what could work. With the Three of Swords, you have the High Priestess. Definitely time to trust your intuition. I would say that Again, High Priestess is a card of mysteries. It's kind of funny that we have all this Pisces energy right here. I'll show you. Uh, Pisces, Pisces. I don't know. I don't really feel that you're dealing with a Pisces in love. I wouldn't even call this a love reading in general, but I do feel that this is more talking about mysteries, you know, kind of like not seeing things clearly. I kind of feel this is an encouragement to just keep going on the path that you're on, like I said, with the moon card, because I feel like that's the path that is going to lead to success. I wouldn't try to like mix things up, you know, mix things up too much with the moon card. You know, it reminds me, I've been watching a lot of Beat Bobby Flay at night, right? <laughs> because I don't know, why not? And it's kind of funny because I always see people on that show that always like add ex start adding extra stuff onto their food, onto their dish, right? And then they end up losing. They made it too complicated. That's like the moon card. The moon card just says you had a plan. Stick to the plan. Don't try to like, you know, if, if you feel like it's not working, don't try to fix it by adding a bunch of stuff to it. Just stick to the plan. And that's kind of what I'm getting here. Uh, with the Eight of Cups, you have the Queen of Wands. Yep, uh, pretty much everyone's been getting the Queen of Wands lately. Uh, Queen of Wands about being bold, being assertive, really going for what you want. So she doesn't really care what anyone thinks. She just kind of accomplishes the things that she wants to accomplish. With the King of Swords, you have the Wheel of Fortune. Again, if you're having any issues at all in your life, in any area of your life, I feel like a person could be extremely helpful for you. This has pretty much come up for every single sign. I feel like it's just a time that we're in. But again, King of Swords is kind of like an expert or a mentor, someone you look up to. And I feel they could lead that, you know, they could help create a turnaround in your life very quickly. With the Two of Pentacles, you have the Sun. Love it. <coughs> Amazing because, you know, having the Sun 
coming up is like creating a lot of happiness. For a lot of you, I feel with that two of pentacles, again, that's probably what you're trying to do. If it's like if you're cutting people out of your life, I feel like you're trying to just create more happiness in your life by getting rid of miserable, annoying people, right? And then you're focusing on more happiness. I kind of see you with that sun now. I see you doing this in other areas of your life as well. It's like, I feel like if there are things that make you not happy, I feel like you're trying to limit your exposure to those things as much as possible. With the moon, you have the three of pentacles. Teamwork makes a dream work for sure. Funny enough, guess what? She is holding a plan right there. So I would stick to the plan, just like I said, Gemini. But again, maybe um, you know, maybe there are some people who can help you along the way. And so I feel for a lot of you that there could be people or you know, as, you know, assistance that comes in. For some of you, I'm wondering if this is about just needing to get started, right? You know, there are there are millions of like movies out there. I'm sure, maybe not millions, but a lot, right? There are tons of movies out there where it's like the hero of the movie decides to get started on their journey and then people show up. I, I Personally, I feel like that's how the universe works. It's like if we don't get started, nothing's going to happen. If we start, even if we have very little, then you know, people, places, things, I truly believe that the things start to fall into place if we get started. People always tell me, I want to start a business, but I don't have any money. I'm like, trust me, as a person who has started several businesses, including businesses with negative bank accounts, trust me, I've done it, right? As a person who's done it, you know, I can tell you, it's like once you get started, it's like kind of things seem to just move around, right? Or or you will find a way. There's even a book by uh, Damon John, The Power of Broke, right? He, and he believes that it's better to start a business when you're broke because it's like you come up with more creative solutions and you come up with better ideas for the business, right? So that's what I'd say here. Just get started on whatever you want to get started on, even if it's not clear. Doesn't have to be a business, could be a relationship, you know, could be any other new idea that you have, could be like moving or going on some sort of adventure. It's like maybe you want to move, but you don't have the money. It's like maybe just start looking into it. Just start learning about the area you want to move into. Again, I truly believe when we get the energy moving in that direction, then we start getting pulled in that direction. And that's what I feel like that's saying. With the four wands, you have the nine of swords. Nine of swords says get out of your head. And again, it is kind of like a card where you can choose what you want. You can choose to be the bug or the windshield. There's a person right here who's getting hit by another person with a sword. And I always say with the Nine of Swords, it's kind of like a choice. The Nine of Swords is also temporary. And we definitely, and there's kind of like a an, an emphasis on that in the, in the tarot on the Nine of Swords that it is a temporary situation. And so I feel like some of you need to realize that like the sun is right around the corner. You know, the good, good, freedom, things, good things. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Good things are coming here, Gemini, is what I would say. So I'd keep pushing forward. Stick to the plan. But uh, thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you, and definitely enjoy your week.